I went to a fantastic party and the hostess did a Tex-Mex fair and she decorated the platters with these pads. So of course I said, can I take those pads after the party? And she said, of course. And she, um, she, I'm, I decided I'm going to plant them up. Um, now, e these were purchased at a, an Asian market in our area. Sometimes you can find them in the regular markets, um, but a lot of times in the specialty markets, they'll sell um, more exotic things like this. And people do eat these. They take off the, um, the prickles and they just kind of scale those off and slice them up. Some people fry them. I've heard of people putting them in smoothies. So I'm sure they're very nutritious, but I prefer to plant mine. And I've done this loads of times. Um, many of them have taken root and turned into plants. So I am excited to do these, uh, planting up my party pads. Um, but it was a great time and happy anniversary, Wendy and Bob, 45 years. Congratulations to you. And uh, let me just show you how easy this is. So what I have here is just some regular potting soil mixed with some um, dry cocoa coir. And um, it's a very well draining mix. And I'm gonna keep this mix dry. And all you have to do, you can even skip this step, but I'm going to put some rooting hormone right on the tips of those pads and also right here where all the glow kids are um, is where roots come out so you want to make sure you get some rooting hormone on those because that is that is what is going to root up um, if it takes so uh, let me go ahead wear gloves when you're using rooting hormone and also when you're working with uh, prickly pear because they have so many glow kids that will get in your fingers and it takes weeks to get out. I've had that experience before. So I'm just going to put some of this on the bottom. On the very bottom, make sure it's closed and won't have any fungus on it. And I'm going to put some just uh, rooting hormone on all of those little areas there where the prickles come out. And then you just basically put the bottom I, I usually put the bottom third into the soil. It's a loose mix. And um, I'm just going to do four of them in one pot. Not all of them will take, or maybe it'll surprise me, but um, it's fine to have four of them in a, in a pot. I'm just going to dip that end in. So like I said, it's very important to put it where the prickles come out. Um, that is where a pad roots off. When it falls off its mother plant in the desert, uh, it's, that's where the, the roots will uh, originate from. And, oh, there's five in here. So I actually hope I can fit them all in here. Now, they are a little bit dehydrated because they I don't know when they were taken from the mother plant. Um, but that's fine. Once they send out roots, they are going to plump up just fine. And like I said, I probably have too many of these things started, but this is an easy way, just going to your supermarket, to make a pretty big cactus. Um, and all five of these cost uh, $1.75. I don't know if you can see the price on there, but that's a pretty great price. Oh, no, $1.57. I'm looking at it upside down. $1.57, and I should get five cacti. So let's see if I can get, I don't know if I can get all of them in this. Maybe it'll be good if they're all standing up together. Now if these all take, I may do a little transplanting and spread them out into maybe two pots. But look how easy this is guys. This is such an easy way to get cacti from your supermarket or from uh, your niece. <laughs> so thank you Jackie. Um, and you're a wonderful hostess. What a great time we had. And what a cute idea to decorate your Tex-Mex theme. Um, the couple actually spent a lot of time uh, in their earlier years in California. So um, I think that's why they chose the Tex-Mex te uh, Tex theme because there's a lot of Mexican food and 
California and on the West Coast. So such a cute party and look at this wonderful party favor that I came out with. And just the last one here. I do not think I'm going to plant this pad. Um, this is probably an injury, but let me show you close up. It's got a lot of spots on it. And uh, I am going to make the decision not to put that in, just in case it's some type of um, disease. It might have been eaten by a bug or been bruised along the way, but I'm not sure what those spots are. So just to play it safe, I'm going to pass on that one, which is fine because I have so many beautiful pads here all planted up. And guys, here is the start of my plant. All of these should take root. And um, what I'm going to do is leave it dry um, for probably a couple of weeks. Just leave it dry here. And then um, what the plant will do is it will send out roots looking for water. And once those roots are established, I can start watering it. Um, and which I will because it, it is June and it's hot but um, until they have roots if you start watering it too soon the bottom of those pads will just rot so I'm going to do what happens in nature let them root out and then start giving them some water and this is like I said just regular potting soil um, with some cocoa coir mixed in um, the potting soil had perlite in it so the important thing is that you choose a a well draining mix. So that's it guys. The party plants, the party pads are all planted up and I'm so excited to see what happens. Um, they're a little floppy now but once I start uh, just leave them in one spot it'll be fine. I may even prop them up with a few rocks. But there you go and uh, down the road I'll be sure to update you and let you know what happens with these guys. And um, I don't know what type of Apuntia these are, but if uh, any of you have any ideas, let me know. Um, you know, like I said, they're from the supermarket. So thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate all of you. And I just love the interaction that we have when we talk about our videos and um, when you comment and and let me know new information I get so excited so I just want you to know how much it means to me when when I interact with you guys and we share our plant knowledge and share our passion for plants so thanks so much for tuning in thank you for subscribing and I'll see you next time